Hey, I'm just curious. What'd you do today? Oh, me? Ah, no big deal. I applied for NASA. <coughs> it's pretty funny. All right, uh, let's start the show and then we'll get into it. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Eclectic Dan Ingram Podcast. I'm your host, Dan Ingram. Yeah, so I applied for NASA today because they're accepting applications to uh, pretend to live on Mars, which I think that that would be pretty fun. Uh, My wife is pissed because I would have to disappear for like an entire year. And then there's like a 20 minute lag each way for like audio video communications. Um... She thinks that I'll be abandoning her, and uh, hey, it's a paid position. That's cool. This is phase two. Phase one got paid like 60K, so that's a lot less than what I make annually, but I don't think the point is to like make money off of it. I think the point is that you get to represent or you're an analog for, like, society living in space on Mars. Hashtag fake Mars. Uh, (laughs) So it's hosted in uh, Houston, Texas. Uh, You fly down there, hop inside of a 1,700-square-foot facility uh, with three other people, and then I guess you try not to go crazy and... uh, yeah you just do missions you do repetitive tasks you clean stuff uh they make you poop in a bucket uh (laughs) i mean they take a uh sample gross um so here's why i don't think i'm gonna get picked right the rule number one you're supposed to have a master's degree in a stem field so i have an associates in fire science uh but I'm hoping that they take some uh, mixture of my training for, uh, I mean, four years as an electrician. That's a lot. Uh, and then four years, uh, I mean, as a firefighter, three and a half years. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. They're probably not going to pick me. But I'll first thing that I'm going to do is ask them if I can uh, stream or uh, whatever podcast from like fake Mars because <laughs> that would be that be a lot of fun. Uh, I think I would be the best well-documented fake Mars attendee. Maybe? I don't know. Would you ever go to Mars? Like real Mars, not pretend Mars. If you want to go to pretend Mars, you should apply. You just, I don't know, Google like CAPTCHA or something, C-A-P-C-H-A-P-E-A, something like that. Uh, no, that's that sounds like CAPTCHA, which is the where they make sure you're a human when you click on those pictures of buses and stop signs and crap. So it's definitely not that. But it sounds... Uh, very, very similar to that. Uh, also, testing some new things. I got a new microphone here, DJI Mic 2. Hoping that uh, it gives a good signal. Um, uh, I'm using uh, the background noise cancellation on it, so I'm hoping that you don't hear my engine or my air conditioner. Uh, it has a standalone recording feature, which I plan on using on all my fire investigations. Just clipping it on, click and record. Uh, it could record six hour battery life and 14 hours of internal mic. It's pretty cool. Or internal storage. 32 uh, bit floating recording. So if it peaks out, you could actually like cut, cut it down so it's not too loud. 
I guess the only other new thing that I have to say is I am now also podcasting, like video casting, so you'll be able to see this clip on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm sure that I'll link it. I mostly ever do like audio clips, so or an audio podcast, so don't really know anything about the video podcasting world. Uh, other than I'll put it on YouTube and then, uh, I don't know, become the next Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan 2.0. No, that's not true. There's only one Joe Rogan. I'm just going to be Dan. Uh, I'm not even going to be Dan. I'm going to be Dingram. All right. I know I haven't posted in a long time. I applied for NASA. Thought I should let everybody know. Um, and now you do. Welcome back, everybody.